how do you um like compare to your norteño gigs like what what what's What's the vibe like? Like, what's the differences between that? Vibe, uh, no one tries to shoot each other. <laughs> <laughs> no one's, uh, I mean, they probably do drugs and shit, but no one's, like, selling cocaine on the dance floor and shit. Or in the restroom? In the restroom. Um, no one's, like, fucking... Everybody gets drugged before they get there. No one's, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no one's, like, fucking, uh, what do you say when they're annoying and shit? Uh, like, batalloso, <laughs> uh, like, all in your face and shit. Yeah. They're more, like... You know, a lot of white people it's and also diff- the type of music we play. That, that if what? you go to the punk scene, it's yeah, yeah. If you go to yeah. punk scene or something, you know, it's like mosh pit and all that stuff. And in their oh, you have all that. Shit. They get like wild and stuff. Well, the thing, the thing that's cool about your your guys' band yeah. is that there's no covers. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You know, so so it's like it's not like they can come and ask you for a song unless yeah, they really exactly. know your band. Yeah. You know, even though I mean? it's happened before, like some people will be, do you know a song from Sublime or something? Because we're because we're, like we're from Long Beach, I guess. Yeah, from Long Beach. So they just <laughs> automatically think like, oh, Sublime. But uh, but yeah, some bands we play with, uh, they'll play cover like they have their own shit yeah. and they'll throw in like one or two covers, or two covers in between. Like uh-huh. Do you guys but, usually do that or no? Um, no, we should. <laughs> Uh, Cause it's kind of cool. Like if you have your own stuff and no one really knows you, and you throw in a cover that they'll be like, like, "Oh damn!" That a crowd like yeah. you know that's kind of a general song that everyone knows. Uh, they'll be like, oh, "Okay, cool." Like I think it'll keep them more entertained. Or, yeah, 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 like more uh, like watching you and stuff. Nah, but but, the, uh, but then uh, I'm I'm going off of the videos I've seen because I haven't really been there. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> thanks for wa- thanks for watching our videos. No, I, I see them, man. Um, but you know, like uh, even when people have post you on Instagram and stuff like that, and yeah. you obviously reshare and whatever, but like people are like really like your songs, way so they'll naturally want to hear that, you yeah. know. So it's kind of cool that you kind of like basically select your crowd, if if we can say uh-huh. that, you know. What I mean? yeah, yeah. People that show up to go see you guys are there to. Sh- see you for your work and not necessarily your cover stuff. Yeah, for know? sure. Um, yeah, And it's different too, like you said, uh, from Norteño music because we do play our own shit. So basically, if there's random people at the bar and they don't know our songs, obviously uh, you give them your first impression with yeah, like yeah, your yeah. first song or whatever. Either they like you or they're going to be like, man, this band sucks and they're probably going to go to another bar or something. Yeah. But with Norteño music, it's just, it's a fucking world of cover yeah. songs. Yeah. So... You could hire any fucking grupo. I mean, one that doesn't suck, suck. But <laughs> if they play like, you know, I'm just going to say it's Centenario. They play centenario. <laughs> people, people in the club or bar, they're going to be like, oh, I like this song, you know. And Shout out to my boy Juice. And, and, <laughs> Juice. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to dance. Yeah. So they're not going really for like to you. hear, you know, different bands and what's like their, like their styles or if they're cool or not, oh, okay, they're okay. going to hear, the they want to hear corridos. Yeah, like, yeah. And corridos that they already know. Yeah. Uh, and I know a lot of bands, uh, especially locally too, I think they're hitting a lot more now here in LA. So I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I, I'm out of the, I'm out of the scene, so I don't know what's going well, on now. But, but uh, maybe they know. play more, <laughs> maybe they play more of their own stuff. Yeah. Like, um, I'm just top of my head, because Dustin played with him, like Kiki, like their group, I'm pretty sure if they go to a, a fucking club or something, they probably play a lot of their stuff, but they also play a lot of covers too. I'm, I'm yeah, just yeah. guessing. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but um, yeah, it's a whole different world. <laughs> Do, yeah, uh, I know. I've I probably asked you this already, but like, what what what, what do you enjoy more though? Playing with my rock band. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I enjoy playing with. Roma part uh, much much more than Norteño. Than music. a Norteño, yeah. uh-huh. because you haven't joined the group that you really like, <laughs> a Norteño that you really like, you know. Uh, and, and I say this because uh, I mean I haven't, you know, obviously mm-hmm. I haven't uh, played with with the band like that because you know I suck a Norteño. Imagine how I would suck in a, in nah, a rock you're, band, you you're know. Good man. You're good. No, but um, <laughs> like I don't know. I just think that um, you're very talented, bro. Oh, thank You're you. You're so I, sick. I, I appreciate and that. And I but... want you back in the Norteño scene. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what this whole conversation is coming back to. I, I think I play very simple. <laughs> but it's super. What, what I think is I play simple, but I feel like I play pretty solid. Like, No, you're like, sick, uh, bro. But uh, I wouldn't say I'm sick. Drop, <laughs> dropping mics over there. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm sick. Like, even now, nowadays, like, if you see all the guitarists, like, the 
genre that they have now. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like the Reguito. Oh, the Reguideros? Uh-huh. Uh, they're, the fucking, stuff, yeah, they're fucking sick, dude. Like the way they play and stuff and what, yeah. they, what they've learned. Like they do a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah, but también you, what you have is that you you play a little simple mm-hmm. y le sabes meter unos buenos arreglos donde van. Yeah. You know what I mean? As opposed to fucking meten, metiéndole desmadre y medio mm-hmm. all the time and it's just like, well, this yeah. doesn't go well here, mm-hmm. blah, blah, you know? Yeah, I, I try to, like, when we're playing songs and stuff, like, not to do a lot. Uh, when we first started, I would be like, fuck, the more you do, yeah, like, yeah. the better you are, you know? Well, let's but talk it, about how you started, bro. Yeah, yeah, let's, okay. let's go back into your early days. Well, guitar, guitar, I started one of my... Uh, if I remember correctly, one of my uncles, he owned an acoustic guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually played drums. Uh, but he had the acoustic guitar laying around. And I don't know, I, I think just naturally, uh, just hearing him play the guitar, he played like a Demet Harios, like song or something on there. And uh, I was like, oh, let me try to figure that out. I think he showed me really quick or something. And then he like left the room or whatever. But I like took out the song and uh, I kind of knew what sounded right. Yeah, and uh, I knew how to find the note. Okay, so it it was just kind of natural. Um, so I ended up picking the guitar up, and uh, I think he let me borrow one for a little while, and um, I ended up playing like classical music, so like a bunch of finger picking stuff. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, like rock music. So I did, I did, I think I I did ask Dustin this, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. But do you guys come from like a musical family or? Uh, it's very light. Very lightly. <laughs> what do you mean? So.